Hey guys, it's John P with GeekBeat and today we are going to unbox the iPort iPad Mini Charger. Okay, I was at the Apple Store and I came across this charging case slash stand and it was 99 bucks so I said, why the heck wouldn't we do that? You know, I love to carry my iPad Mini around but one of the things uh, uh, that is never fun is having to always plug in a little cable to charge it. And these things don't have wireless charging on them like Android devices do. But this iPort charger seemed like it would be the next best thing. So we'll take a look at it. It's a case and a stand. And supposedly you just put your iPad on the stand and bingo bango. So I like this kind of box. It's got a little green tab here. You slide it open. Ooh, ah. So um, here we go. This is this is obviously the case right here. So we're gonna actually unbox this and we're going to plug it in and see how it works right here and now. Um, so they give you a little bit of plastic uh, protective stuff there. It's a it's kind of a nice rubberized finish. I always enjoy that. So it looks like those two pieces come apart. And you see it's got a little um, lightning connector right there. So I'm guessing we're going to slide this down in there. And then snap that on. Okay, great. Uh, one of the other interesting things about this case I, I had noticed, uh, and let's just look at this one more time. Down here, you notice the little speaker holes. Um, it has little ports, so it, it kind of channels the speakers forward. I thought that was a nice little benefit as well, um, so that you could get a little better sound while you're at it. Okay, so that's on there. I don't. It doesn't really snap on. It doesn't feel particularly tight or anything, um, but I guess it makes taking it off easy. Which, one of the bad things about this would be that you will have to take it off if you ever want to charge it anywhere other than on this base. But since it's got a good battery life, hopefully I'll never be away from the base for you know much longer than, than need be. So, um, here is the base. Oh wow, that thing is heavy. I mean, it is solid. It feels like it's packed with lead. Um, let's plug it in right now. Happen to have a little plug over here, so we will do that. And let's see. Notice on the back of this uh, case, it's got two little contact points here and two little contact points here. And I'm assuming that they line up here. Now, one of the things that I had read was that it was magnetic. So I'm going to try and slip it in here and we'll see what it does. Yeah, it kind of, uh, it does magnetically attach. So um, it did just start charging, that's interesting. Now, notice there are a couple little silver buttons right here. I believe that if we hold those, if we squeeze these buttons, we can change the angle. There we go. So we can put it, let's say, up to that standing position, then drop that in there. And it should be charging on us now, let's see. Uh, yep, it shows the little charger working there and pull it out and when I pull it out I can definitely feel the magnets pulling it. Try it this way and yes, uh, let's see, bingo, it's charging again as well. So that's nice, I like the fact that you can change the angle on it. There's three different positions, laying down really flat, medium and then pretty upright. Uh, and I like the fact that it kind of orients itself either way. So that's it, uh, seems like it'd be good. Now what would be really useful would be if we could buy another one of these docks separately without having to pay for the case all over again so we could have one at home, one at work. But I don't know if they sell them like that, we'll have to check it out. So that is the iPort charge case and stand all together. 99 bucks, not a bad deal if you wanna, you know, make it real easy to charge your iPad. Okay guys, stay tuned for more. We've got lots of uh, reviews coming your way here on GeekBeat. Thumbs up on YouTube, we're out of here. I'm going to make an exception for Google Glass 
because I honestly believe it is the single worst product I've ever experienced. Joining us, I wanted to tell you about XF205 from Canon. It's a really great camera. Geekbeat.tv slash name this salsa. Yeah, we'll give you a link for it. Kickstarter project.